All right, guys, Master Sion here. Now, this video is actually talking about um, this new device I've received, the Leap. Um, in just a moment, you'll see me pick it up. But basically, it's a motion tracking device for your hands. It's able to take your hand motion and make it into readable data for the computer. So this device is supposed to be coming out next year. I wrote them a nice letter at saying that I would love to attempt to implement it into 3D and they were so kind as to send me a development kit. Now the hardware is pretty much just two cameras. Um, get off the screen, sir. Why do people always talk when I'm recording? Um, but basically it's like two cameras that have a field of motion um, about as wide as a funnel. And there you go. Now, right now it's a little bit inaccurate because the the device is in um, robust mode, which is what happens when bad lighting conditions are detected. And the video quality of this one's kind of bad. I did record it, however, with my iPod. But the device is just, you know, a bunch of parts all put together. The new one will actually just be a complete compacted unit without any of the stuff that you see there exposed. And actually, it looks very nice. So. You know, that is actually what it looks like when I'm using my hand with it on my messy computer desk with cables and empty cigarette packs everywhere. So now, moving on. So here's the visualizer on the computer. And so if I put my hands over it, you can actually see it recording my movement of me pretending to play a piano. But I think it actually has some good uses if I were to make it into some sort of drawing instrument. My friends are talking about using it to try to play guitar. And, you know, my goal is to just reach in and sculpt and pull things, which I think would be awesome. So I've only had the device for about three days, and I'm not really a good Python person. So everything has really been a trial by fire with me having to learn not only the Python SDK, but getting more familiar with, um, I mean, not with the Leap SDK and all of its API functions and how that works, as well as Python, which I want to use as, I guess, its container. So here's a little sample.py file that actually comes with it. And in the code, it's just explaining um, how they pull these functions out of the controller and put in computer-readable data. So from here, I'd be able to manipulate it and hopefully turn it into something that you know does something more interesting, like changes the mouse. So if I run this, you know, it just shows all these frame IDs. But as I put my hands over it, it begins expressing data about it at a numerical level. So I guess the hardest part of this whole thing may be coming up with formulas of converting it and then figuring out which amount of depth makes, you know, like if this was a pen, it would draw here, but not here, but I could still move it around and see it on the screen and stuff like that. So it's just like the logic of it. So I have a long ways to go. Over on this one, um, I have this socket server that actually comes with um, that I got on the forum. So if I go to localhost, this shows this inside of a web browser window, and I can actually reach my hands out. We can see how the leap is being used in real time inside of a web browser. So this was actually really hard to set up. I had to learn a lot about something called PIP and distribute and easy install, which was not easy, by the way, um, and all sorts of things. So I mean, I have quite a ways to go through on this. I've been working in Blender as well to just become more acquainted with Python and how it works. So um, I've come down to, you know, at least understanding that you can add logic bricks through the BGE to your objects, having it refer to scripts. Now, scripting is one of the, I think, 12 things of Blender you have to master in order to get your certification. I've always actually skipped it because they don't require them all. And I always figured I'd go to another package. But I think learning Python is definitely the way to go with this but hopefully this is me doing it with the mouse now next time I'm doing this hopefully you'll be seeing me move the camera around using a leap and the script for the camera is fairly simple it's based off of a script I was reading about by Ryu Zakazin or something like that but just by tearing apart the code and analyzing it I've become more familiar with just how um, functions and methods work and stuff like that and trying to get the ideology that is behind CG so that's me trying to do a thumbs up and it's not working. But if I put all my fingers and then my thumbs, maybe my thumb will show. Here we go. Here's my thumb. Now the field of motion actually is a lot further than I think because my hands are actually pretty, are actually almost outstretched for me sitting back in a chair, but I can almost reach in and touch the screen 
reach back. So I think the applications of it in a good lighting condition with it working correctly would actually work very well for, say, sculpting or just rotating the viewport and, you know, grabbing vertices and whatnot. But, you know, I'm trying to hopefully get this as a way of, you know, getting some smarty python people to maybe work with me and explain the basic stuff that newbies get tripped on so i can get through this as quick as possible and we can begin getting some really interesting things done with our america's favorite software happy blender